Welcome back to Roto City Tech. So I recorded a video earlier today, which is why I'm wearing the same clothes. But I have to take advantage of this time to go ahead and try to get another video filmed. Today's video is about the mods that I've done on this camper already. I've done a handful of them to make it more easily livable for us. These aren't mods that maybe you would want to do, but they're really simple and I think the benefits of them outweigh any of the work involved and I think some of this maybe should have been done from the factory. But anyways, let's start off with our first mod. As you've probably seen in my past videos, the thin shade. This, now this was already made thin shade ready and I highly recommend getting the thin shade because it adds in the privacy and also keeps the sun out. Second set of mods is the paper plate holder. It's actually super simple and super useful. I mean, this thing holds a bunch of plates, keeps them out of your storage up here where you can store your regular dishes. I also put in this paper towel holder, which we have no paper towels, but there you go. We have a paper towel holder where you can keep those up and out of the way. Our third mod, which you've probably seen if you've been keeping your eyes peeled, are these little USB fans. So they come with two different mounting brackets. As you can see here, this one is a little round bracket that just clamps on, and I have it clamped on to the handle here. They come with a little suction cup bracket as well, if you want to put them on a window. But they just plug in to any USB port, and they have three speeds. And so I bought four of them. So we have this one here. And then if you look in the master, I have another one set on my side of the bed. And it's clamped on to the handle there. And these just help with airflow, especially when you have the AC running. You can turn on all these fans. I have another one sitting over here. Now normally, this one has the suction cup mount. Normally, it got hot and came unsuctioned, but you can just set it there. And then it sets right there on the leather these help with just moving air around the camper and here's the fourth one clamped on and if you get these moving in the right direction you can really feel the air going around especially when you have that AC going another mod so I put in three of these little lights these are little courtesy lights for boats usually and so Kelsey had to get up when we first bought the camper to, to uh, feed Holden and it was really dark and we didn't want to have to worry about turning on bright lights because these LED lights in the camper are crazy bright. So I installed three of these as she walks her way to where she would sit and feed Holden. This one I put a switch right underneath the stereo, a little toggle switch. So all she has to do when she gets out of bed is hit that switch and this will light up right here where you would walk from the bedroom into the main living area. The other ones I put in are down here. So I kept them low so that it wouldn't be shining in anybody's face. And so we have this toggle switch here and that'll turn that one on. And then the last one is really gonna be helpful when Holden is older because I put it right here at the bottom of the ladder. So when we pull this ladder out so that a kid can climb their way up to the top bunk, all we gotta do is flip that switch and that's gonna light up the bottom of your ladder. Hopefully it'll help kids be able to see it. Another quick mod that I figured out were some more storage. So you can see here, we had these from the Wolf Pup, this one and then one over here. We stored them on top of the top bunk and had our clothes in them. And I wanted to figure out some way to utilize these. So this one simply sits on the ledge right here of the slide. And then I just put this little curtain, curtain rod holder screwed into the back of the chair or the dinette and then one right into here. And I built this little L-shaped PVC bar and then hung this on that, obviously, and then this rests 
on there. So now that can just stay on the slide as it goes in and out. And this is where Kelsey stores some of her extra clothes. And we have a little drawer there. And then the weight is obviously supported because it's sitting on the bottom and it's not on any of this. Now the other one has to be removed when you slide the slide in and out because it is connected to the back of the dinette here and to the pantry which stays stationary. So if you do not take this off and then try to slide the slide, you're probably going to break something. So same thing though, this just goes in here, curtain rod holder, and now we've got extra storage for either food items or clothes or whatever you need. We don't use this one all that much yet, but it's there if we need it. Another mod, the shower. If you've seen my last video, you know that I just recently put that in and we have yet to use it. Here is a solar input that I put in to this camper because this did not have it. As you saw in my last video talking about one of the cons was not having a solar input. I had this just laying around in my shop. It's just an SAE, I think it's a SAE, I can't remember the exact name of it. But I just had it laying around, I can't remember even what I bought it for. And then I just cut a piece of wood, drilled it into this support here, and wired it into the existing wiring of the camper. What this allows me to do is my water pump, my for my fresh water getter, I can, it, the, the fill up right here for the water when we're boondocking, all I have to do is open up this cargo door and the connection on my water pump is this same two prong connection. So I just plug it in and then my camper can power my water pump to transfer water from the 15 gallon barrel to the camper. Our last mod is one that I was pretty proud of. We needed a good way to carry the bikes. I had these bike racks from way back in the day. I've had them on multiple vehicles. We had them on the Forerunner last year where we had them attached to the roof rack. So I was trying to think of how we could utilize this rack and this is how we do it. All I did was get longer carriage bolts and I drilled holes into the frame here and here and I was able to put those down there and put the wing nuts on and then this 2x4 is simply just a spacer and then I did the same thing right here I drilled through this middle brace put that nut on there and bolt did the same thing on that one so this allows us obviously you just take that out and that goes up and goes on the down tube of your bike and then your wheels go there and it fits both mine and Kelsey's bikes really well and it keeps them out of the way and then we can have the bed of the truck for other storage. So there you have it. At this point in time, that is all of the mods that I've done on this camper. I've got more planned, but those are the mods that I could do simply and quickly and be able to enjoy the camper during the season. Now that we're hitting the off season, I'm gonna have more time to be able to do different kind of mods that I would like to do. Anyways, thank you for watching. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the videos. Y'all have a good day, and we'll see you next time.